Now, for the News and Observer, this is your first alert forecast from ABC 11 Eyewitness News. And a pleasant good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Don Schwenniker with this update for NewsObserver.com. We're taking a look at our first alert predictor forecast model. As we go through the afternoon, we do see some cloud cover working in. We'll call it partly sunny today. By tonight, 10 o'clock, notice one little pocket of green here or there. We could see a stray sprinkle or flurry tonight. I don't think anybody's going to see anything widespread. I don't think anybody will see any. If you do see flurries, you won't see any accumulation. Just could see a snowflake fly. Through the overnight hours, it does work out of here, though, and we clear out as we head through the day tomorrow. Surface map shows a front to the west of us. Ahead of it today, we see those warmer temperatures. It drops through tonight, and behind it, very cold air pours in. We'll see temperatures tomorrow only near 40 degrees for a high. Forecast looks like this for the rest of this afternoon. Those temperatures in the 50s, 53 Raleigh, Cary, 52 Wake Forest, 53 in Garner. You go north where the temperatures will be in the 50s from Durham to Roxborough, 51 in Roanoke Rapids, 53 in Rocky Mountain into the sand hills. Temperatures climbing to the mid to upper 50s under partly sunny skies. Tonight, clear skies. Temperatures across the region down into the 20s for overnight lows. You get that seven-day forecast coming up today at 4 o'clock from Chief Meteorologist Chris Homan. For NewsObserver.com, I'm Big Weather.